Welcome to the Golden State Warriors News Today channel. Take the opportunity to leave that like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go to today's news. Speak up, Warriors Nation. We are coming off a disappointing season where we didn't even manage to secure a place in the playoffs. For a team that is used to shining at the top, this reality is difficult to swallow. But let's not give up. Instead, it's time to plan how to revitalize our roster to compete in the West again. With a payroll tight, mainly because of Steph Curry and Draymond Green's big contracts, and with Klay Thompson entering free agency, we don't have much room for big signings. This means that we will have to be strategic and intelligent in our movements. Even without the ability to make major acquisitions, we can take some creative approaches to improve the team. First, we can explore trades using the players we have. This approach could help us bring in new talent that is a better fit for our team. Trading certain players can open up salary space or bring in pieces that better complement our current core. It's a way to adjust the cast without spending more than we can afford. In addition to trades, focusing on affordable free agents that fit well with our style of play is crucial. Players who can be signed within our budget and who fill the team's specific needs can bring significant value. This is where Kyle Anderson, currently with the Minnesota Timberwolves, comes in. Anderson, also known as Slow MO, is a versatile player who can play in multiple positions, both as a winger and as a point guard in times of need. His ability to pass and understand the game would fit perfectly into the Warriors' fluid style of play, based on constant movement and quick passing. Anderson is also a solid defender, something that has always been a hallmark of the Warriors' success. He could play a key role as a sixth man, adding depth and flexibility to the squad. Best of all, considering the Timberwolves may not have the resources to renew his contract due to salary constraints, we have a real chance to attract him using our MLE mid-level taxpayer exception. Meanwhile, the Clay Thompson decision is one of the most crucial for the Warriors' future. Bringing Clay back makes perfect sense from a talent perspective and the franchise's historical continuity. He is a fundamental part of our core that has brought us so much success. However, if salary negotiations do not progress satisfactorily, this could signal a need to rethink the team's formation. If the Warriors decide to keep Clay, it reaffirms the confidence in the core that took us to the top. Still, it'll be necessary to bring reinforcements around him, Curry and Green, to face the challenges of the West. Adding someone like Kyle Anderson could be exactly what we need to add a new dynamic and allow our iconic trio to do what they do best. So let's imagine a scenario where we manage to bring in Kyle Anderson. He would add depth, defense, and versatility to the squad. With Curry and Green leading the way, and Anderson bringing his skill and flexibility, we could see an improved defense and more offensive options, putting us back in the playoff race and perhaps beyond. We are at a crucial point. Creativity will be our best ally. If we can make smart trades and sign players like Anderson, who offers a lot for his value, we can revitalize our team and compete at a high level again. Let's go together, Warriors. With the hearts of our players and a little front office magic, we can find our way back to the top. What do you think? Leave your ideas and let's discuss how to improve our beloved team. We need to delve a little deeper into the options and realities that lie ahead. The aforementioned approach not only highlights the need to be strategic, but also recognizes that we are at a crucial crossroads for the franchise. Considering trade-offs. When we talk about exchanges, it is essential to identify who in our squad can be used as bargaining chips and what we can look for in return. Young players with potential, like Jonathan Kaminga and Moses Moody, are valuable assets. Not only do they have a promising developmental ceiling, but they could also attract interest from other teams looking to build for the future. Kaminga, with his impressive combination of size, athleticism, and skill, is a prospect many teams would love to develop. Moody, on the other hand, has shown flashes of a reliable perimeter player with a potential to become a solid defender and consistent shooter. Using these young players as trade pieces can help us get a player that contributes immediately and fills specific holes on the roster. For example, teams that are in rebuild mode may be willing to trade experienced players for young talent like Kaminga and Moody. This gives us a chance to acquire veterans who can contribute from day one. It's a tough decision because it involves sacrificing some of our future potential. But if the goal is to win now while we still have Curry in his prime, it could be worth it. Free Agency Strategy In the free agent market, the key is to find players who can offer a lot for a relatively low cost. 
Players like Kyle Anderson are perfect because they bring a combination of versatile skills and experience without demanding an exorbitant salary. Another name to consider could be TJ Warren, a wing who is shown to be an excellent scorer when healthy. If we can get him on a low-risk contract, he could add an offensive boost off the bench. Additionally, players like Jay Crowder or Bruce Brown can offer stout defense and playoff experience, aspects that are crucial for any team with title aspirations. Each of these signings not only needs to be financially viable, but also needs to fit perfectly into the Warriors' system of play, which relies heavily on movement without the ball, good vision of the game, and intense defense. Returning to the issue of Clay Thompson, the debate about keeping him goes beyond financial issues. Clay is an integral part of the Warriors' identity. He is more than just a player. It's a symbol of our success and a fan favorite. The decision to renew with him depends on finding a balance between sentimental value and real impact on the game. If Clay can return to his best, he remains one of the best shooters and perimeter defenders in the league. However, if the deal is not financially advantageous for the Warriors, we may have to consider difficult alternatives. If the goal is to keep the championship window open with Curry, renewing Clay could be essential. But if he demands a very high contract, this could limit us in the search for other reinforcements. Ultimately, the decision needs to be strategic, considering both Clay's impact on the team and the opportunities that sacrificing his contract could open up. Looking to next season, with all these options in mind, the Warriors have a challenging road ahead. We need to balance developing our young talent, returning to the top of the competition, and maintaining our identity as one of the NBA's most iconic franchises. If we can combine smart trades with strategic acquisitions and free agency, while maintaining the essence of our championship core, we can revitalize the team without compromising our future. It's a game of chess that the front office will need to play with precision and vision. What's up, Warriors Nation? Are we ready to face this challenge together? The journey may be arduous, but with the right combination of moves and some of our championship magic, we could be back on top soon. Let's stay positive and support our team as we navigate this critical offseason. With the right decisions, the brilliance of our next championship could be closer than we imagine. My vision for the Warriors. The Warriors are at a crucial point. They still have the essential talent and experience to be serious contenders, but they need strategic adjustments to return to the top of the NBA. Here's how I see things. One focus on versatility and defense. The Warriors' style of play has always been based on constant movement, quick passing, and intense defense. Maintaining this identity is crucial. Therefore, players like Kyle Anderson make a lot of sense. Anderson is not only a versatile defender, capable of playing in multiple positions, but he also has high basketball intelligence, facilitating the ball and helping to create plays. His ability to fill multiple roles on the court would fit perfectly into Steve Kerr's system allowing for tactical adjustments and greater flexibility in rotations. Anderson's hire from MLE would be a valuable addition that I believe can have a significant impact without breaking the bank. Strategic exchanges to strengthen the core. I believe that exploring the exchange market is a smart approach. Jonathan Kaminga and Moses Moody are promising talents, but the window of opportunity with Curry still in his prime is limited. Using them as a bargaining chip to acquire veterans ready to contribute immediately could be a strategic move. An interesting target could be a defensive wing with shooting ability, someone like OG and Nunabi or Mikal Bridges, although their availability is questionable depending on their respective team's outlook. Such players could strengthen the Warriors' perimeter defense and provide accurate shooting, something vital in the Warriors' game plan. Three delicate decision on Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson is a Warriors legend and one of the pillars of our dynasty. However, the decision about its renewal needs to balance emotion and pragmatism. Clay has shown flashes of his former self, but the last few years have been marred by injuries and inconsistency. If we can reach an agreement that is fair and allows us to maintain financial flexibility, renewing Clay makes sense. He can still be a lethal shooter and a solid perimeter defender. However, if salary demands are too high, it may be time to consider a different arrangement that could give us more wiggle room. Four. Seek low-risk, high-return contracts. In addition to Kyle Anderson, there are other players who can be signed with low-risk, high-reward contracts. TJ Warren, when healthy, is a talented scorer who can provide a much-needed offensive boost off the bench. Bruce Brown is also interesting for his defensive tenacity and ability to play multiple positions. He may not be a high-profile name, but his contribution could be valuable to the Warriors, 
especially in a support role. Conclusion The Warriors have a tough challenge, but with the right front office and a strategic approach, they can get back to the top. If I were part of the decision-making team, I would focus on bringing versatility and defense with signings like Kyle Anderson, explore trades that leverage our young talent to get veterans ready to contribute now, and seek a fair deal with Clay Thompson that benefits both parties. Maintaining the Warriors' identity while adapting to financial realities is key to continued success. Now, I want to hear from you, Warriors fans. Do you agree with this vision? Which players do you think we should target? Should Clay stay at any cost, or is there a point at which we should look beyond? Share your opinions and let's discuss how we can strengthen our team for next season.